Hello, I'm Patrick Linnell with Cattle Facts Closing Bell. Today's Closing Bell is sponsored by Zoetis. Plenty of things can give a cattleman wrinkles, but implanting cattle isn't one of them. Don't stress. Use 200-day Cinevex 1 feedlot. Learn more at nostresscinevex.com. The recent breakdown in U.S. and China trade relations has shaken markets across the board. Stocks, crude oil, soybeans have all seen significant pressure not to mention lean hog futures. U.S. pork exports to China in June were up 189% from last year, as African swine fever continues to drive meat imports to fill the protein void. But with the escalation of trade tensions, the Chinese government has halted further purchases of U.S. agricultural products as of August 5th, and canceled a large purchase of U.S. pork. Still, the sheer size of the protein void in China due to ASF will at minimum indirectly support U.S. pork demand, as the U.S. could fill gaps as other pork exporting countries divert their shipments to China. Nonetheless, with record large U.S. pork production, exactly how much Chinese ASF supports U.S. export demand is important. In addition to significantly impacting pork prices, Stumbling pork exports could present an additional risk to the beef and cattle markets as well. The relationship between the beef and pork cutouts is not perfect, but it does exist. The beef cutout rarely exceeds a three-fold premium to the pork cutout, except during the spring grilling demand period. Cheaper pork could be another price-limiting factor to beef, especially if a slowing domestic economy pushes consumers towards cheaper meat proteins. Historically, 52 pounds of annual pork consumption per capita has been a critical level for U.S. pork prices in the U.S. With pork supplies greater than 52 pounds per capita, pork prices tend to see significant pressure as consumers have to be incentivized to buy the large quantities of pork to clear the market. Pork production is expected to be a record 27.4 billion pounds in 2019 and Cattle Facts is forecasting a 10% growth in pork exports. This would result in per capita pork consumption of 51.8 pounds in 2019. If pork exports fall short of the forecast, more pork will be left on the domestic market and supplies could easily surpass the 52 pound mark. Should this occur, both pork and beef prices could feel the pressure of the trade tensions heating up. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit CattleFacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real. The volatility is extreme. The risks are big, but the opportunities for success are there. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 50 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective. Our vision is global. Our focus is you. We provide a direct line of contact with you, our client, to the Cattle Facts team. With our daily updated website, modernized mobile app, or the traditional phone conversation. Cattle Facts, the deciding factor. Become a member at CattleFacts.com.